Okay, so here are your three bang for your buck exercises that are going to really target those problem areas. The first one is a burpee into press ups. It's quite a challenging exercise, but it's going to hit the front of the shoulders, the chest, the back of the arms, even at the core as well. It's really going to get your heart rate raising. So you start with your feet together, press your hands down onto the ground, then jump back into a press up position, drop down into a press up, squeeze the abdominals, push back up, jump, stand. Okay, hands to the floor, back, press up. Now, if you're in that press up position, it's too hard, you can drop down onto your knees, push down, come back up, back up onto the feet, and then stand back up. As this is a home program, what we don't want to be doing is jumping around in the living room. So, once you come out of that press up position, we just stand up before we go into the next one. So, the next exercise is going to work the back of the legs, the inner thighs, and the bum. It's reverse lunges, so both feet together. But ideally, what we're looking to do is get that leg back as far as we can. We can use the hands to stabilize ourselves, kicking our head and chest up, pushing the weight through the front foot heel. We alternate legs, so leg back as far as we can, head and chest up, weight through the heel, pushing through. Now, you can see with that back foot, I'm having a little bit of a push. If you want to make it a little harder, so the leg back. Drop the foot, keep the weight through the heel. So you're forcing all of that weight through that front leg. The last exercise is plank knee to elbow. So this is going to work our, our core, and also our waist muscles as well. So we set up in a regular plank position. Onto the elbows, onto the feet. Making sure the back's nice and flat. We're not dropping down. Once in that position, if the hips are low. It forces us to get our knee out. As you can see here, I'm banging my knee against the floor, so I have to bring my knee out, and up, out, and up. If it's too hard, you can bring your hips up, so you can give yourself a little bit more space. So now I can move my knee around a little bit, but ideally we're looking to get to that point where the hips are low and we've got to force that knee out.